In travel news, for February 14th, 2023, we have an update on the JetBlue Spirit Airlines merger. We talk about a new bill in Congress to make travel for people with disabilities easier, and more strikes coming to London Heathrow. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. To stay updated on travel news, tips, tricks, and other insights, which will help you to travel like an adept traveler, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We frequently release new content to keep you up to date on all things travel. A new bipartisan bill introduced by U.S. Senators Tammy Duckworth and Deb Fischer proposes that the Department of Transportation produce an annual report detailing disability-related complaints from airline passengers. The report would include how quickly and efficiently the complaints were addressed and resolved. Despite the Airline Carrier Access Act and the American with Disabilities Act being signed into law over 30 years ago, air travel remains challenging for passengers with disabilities, and complaints have increased in recent years. The proposed report would cover categories such as mobility device-related incidents, difficulties in accessing in-flight services, and communications issues with airlines or staff. If passed, the legislation would provide greater transparency around the treatment of disabled passengers in the airline industry and compel the Department of Transportation to take action on these issues. The proposed merger between Spirit Airlines and JetBlue is facing opposition from the U.S. Department of Justice, which is expected to file a lawsuit. The two carriers agreed to form what would be the nation's fifth largest airline last summer after a bidding war with Frontier Airlines. The CEO of Spirit Airlines stated that they are waiting for the decision from the DOJ, which is expected in the next 30 days. The merger is further complicated by an ongoing lawsuit against JetBlue's Northeast Alliance deal with American Airlines. JetBlue argues that the merger would provide travelers with a new, low-fare option to compete with the big four airlines. The outcome of the DOJ's decision is unclear, and it's unknown if Spirit will go back on the market or accept a lower bid from Frontier. Heathrow Airport faces severe disruption over the Easter holiday period as Unite, the trade union for aviation workers, prepares to ballot around 3,000 airport staff for strike action over pay. The workers have rejected a 10% pay increase, arguing that it is below the real rate of inflation. Heathrow has offered a 10% increase on salaries, shift pay, and allowances this year, and a 4% increase six months ago. The airport also offered a one-off 2,000-pound cost of living payment and additional benefits. Unite says this is insufficient and that Heathrow could ease the financial burden of its staff. Heathrow reported handling over 5.4 million passengers in January 2023, the busiest start of the year since 2020. Heathrow was considering contingency plans to mitigate the possible disruption if industrial action goes ahead. Today in Travel is brought to you by the Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time. Travel while well, my friends.